Hi and welcome to this 12 minute abs and core sculpting session. I'm Kirsty and I'm going to be taking you through the next 12 minutes of workout. I'm going to be using the mat, I'm going to be down on the mat for quite a lot of this session but we are also using a dumbbell, I've just got one dumbbell with me today, I'm using a three kilo. Um, we're going to get started on our feet and then we're going to head down to the mat for the rest of the session. The last exercise is also going to be back on our feet so there's a little bit of getting up and down. So if you're ready then let's get going. Okay, so let's get into the session. The first exercise we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be using the weight. You do not have to use the weight if you don't want to, okay? So we're gonna bring the weight up and you're gonna crunch and crunch on each side. We're gonna work for 40 seconds today and take 20 seconds rest. That is the format of the session. So let's get going. So here we are crunching in. Again, you do not have to use the weight if you don't want to. It's your workout, it's your choice. If you are crunching in with me though with the weight, please keep that weight controlled. Good job. Now, remember this exercise because later on in the session, we have some mountain climbers. And if that is not your bag, then you can do this instead. Okay, so when we get to the mountain climbers and I say you can do the alteration, this is the alteration, okay? So you've already done it. So you know what to do. Keep going, three, two, one, take a rest. Pop that weight down by the side nice and safely and let's head down to the mat. Okay, all fours position. We're gonna do a bird dog crunch. We're gonna stay on one side. So I'm gonna take my right arm and my left leg, stretch them out, hand to knee, out, hand to knee. Ready, two, one, let's go. Out, crunch, out, crunch. Now, really holding the tummy muscles nice and tight. Crunch, crunch, good. Working on your balance and stability here. Well done. Nice straight line from heel to hand. Good. Keep it going. Crunch, crunch, well done. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. 20 seconds rest so you know what's coming up. Trying to keep that stability, trying to keep nice and stable on those two points of contact that you have down onto the mat. Okay, so left, left arm's coming out, right leg drawing out. Nice straight line, let's go. Out, in, out, in. Crunch it through. Well done. Keep breathing all the time. Holding into your muscles does not mean holding your breath. That's super, super important. Good. Bring that knee in, crunch that hand in. Well done, keep it going. 10 seconds and then we're gonna be heading over onto our back. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay, take your 20 seconds. Nice, easy transition, this one. Onto your back. Now we're doing a lying bicycle crunch. If you would prefer to do a standing bicycle crunch, I'm gonna show you that in the variation. But this is the lying crunch. So onto your back, elbows onto the ground, elbows always in contact with the ground, and cross over, opposite, opposite. So whenever you're ready, join in. Good. So elbow to knee. One elbow is always on the ground. Good. Well done. Keep it going then. Keep that chin away from chest. Good job. Three, two, one, take a rest. Okay, we're gonna be doing a seated twist next. I'm gonna use my weight for that seated twist, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Again, it's your workout, so you get to choose. With the weight, you're gonna hold it end on, bring it to the side, to the side, side and side. You can put your feet onto the mat or keep your feet off the mat, it's totally up to you, but let's go. So without the weight, it looks exactly the same. This is with my feet off the mat. You can drop one heel at a time or you can have your feet on the mat the whole time. Totally up to you. 
whatever feels challenging but achievable. That's what you're working for. So if feet on the mat feels challenging but achievable, then that's where you're at. Otherwise, pedaling or feet off the mat. Challenging but achievable. Always remember that one. Good. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Take your rest. Okay. Side plank crunch is next. So we're going to come up to your last side lying position. Tuck one leg under. So now my heel is facing the back wall. And then I'm going to bring my hips up. Arm comes up overhead and we're going to crunch elbow to knee, elbow to knee. So join in with me when you're ready. Good. Well done. Crunching it in. Working on one side, you'll get 20 seconds rest. And then we'll go in for the other side. Usually in this plank arm position, it is most comfortable for most people. But if you are more comfortable up onto your hand instead of onto your forearm, then please do do that instead. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. We're going to switch sides. Little changing of ends here. So remember to get to your position, lying out straight. Bottom leg just curls under. Foot is facing the wall now. Arm comes overhead. Lift the hips up. Arm overhead. Two, one. We're off. Here we go. Just keep those hips up. Good. Well done. Keep it going. Keep crunching away. Well done. Halfway here. Just keep working. Nice. Good. We're going to be onto your back for your next exercise. Just keep working ahead here. Nearly done. Two, one. Well done. So lying onto your mat. We're going to be doing some lying leg raises. So onto your back. Now you can either do one leg then the other leg, or you can do the two legs together. It's totally up to you. Whatever you feel most comfortable with, whatever works for you. Are we ready? Let's go. So I'm gonna do the two legs, pushing the heels out, come back down, up, heels out. But if it's easier for you, one leg, then the other leg, and as straight as you can, but if you need to have a little bend in those legs, then it's absolutely fine with me. Okay, so whatever works for you. Push your back into the floor. Good. Keep it going. Well done. Now we're about to head into the mountain climbers. So you know which exercise you can do. Take a rest. You know which exercise you can do instead of mountain climbers. It was that first one with the standing crunch. Otherwise, if you're with me on the mountain climbers, I'm just gonna put my feet off the edge of the mat. So hands underneath the shoulders, and you're just gonna either walk it in, jog it in, or you can run up to you, whatever level you want to work to here, but really pulling those knees in nice and far, bring them all the way up, good. Keep it going. You can do this on a raised surface as well. So you can do it on your coffee table, on the sofa. Or you can do that standing crunch. Keep going. Well done. Two, one, take a rest. Back onto your back. This is the last message. Message? This is the last um, exercise onto the mat. <sighs> okay, we're gonna do some flutter kicks. So you're just paddling your legs up and down. Get, let's get ready to go. Here we are. So paddle the legs up and down, push the heels out. Now, if you want to, you can come up here, keep your knees bent, hands under your bottom if you need to, just take away just a little bit of pressure there and you can paddle the legs 
or if you can, just keep nice and strong and straight and just paddle away here. Push, push, push. Okay, whatever is what is right for you for today. And it may be different today than yesterday or tomorrow, depending on how tired you are. But just paddling those legs. Good. Two, one. Take a rest. Up to your feet. Last exercise, but we've got it on the right side and the left. You need your weight for this one, if you have one. And you're just gonna stand with your feet around about shoulder width distance apart. One fingertip onto temple here. Weight in the other side, coming down to the knee and pulling up through your side. So whenever you're ready, let's do this. So just coming down to around about the knee, lengthening in the side and then pulling up through the side, good. Down, up, well done. Halfway. Well done. So you'll have your 20 seconds and then we'll switch to the other side and then that is you done. Really short and sharp session here today. You can do that again if you want another quick burst on top of this exercise session. Take a rest. Okay, so you can do this session twice. You can check out some of my other sessions that I've got. Nearly ready. Fingertips onto temples. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So down and up. Remember you are contracting through here to pull that weight up. The weight is not being pulled up by your arm. Okay, you're using your side to do that. Good. Really thinking about your breath work. Well done. Good. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Great. Two, one, take a rest. Really, really well done today. That was a really quick um, session, abs and core sculpt for you. I hope you enjoyed the session. Leave me a comment and a like. Please subscribe to the channel and share with anyone you think that might want to do this video with me as well. And I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Bye.